One thing Independence Day doesn't mean is freedom from politicians. The biggest names from both parties made appearances at area parades, even if today's political landscape may not make them the most popular attractions. Here's CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely. In Arlington Heights, all the ingredients of a traditional July 4th, sunshine and marching band. How you doing, Dave Stewart, running for judge. And politicians. We love the clowns, we love the, the fire trucks and all the noise. How about the politicians? Uh, not necessarily, no, not even a little. How like about the all. politicians? Politicians, well, you know, honestly, um, I'd rather see the other guys first. <laughs> How you doing? I'm happy. Happy Independence Day. Which didn't deter Governor Rauner from working the crowd. Do you think the public welcomes you or they kind of tolerate you? <laughs> I tell you, the enthusiasm has been exceptional. People come up to me and say, thank you for your service. Thank you for all the hard work for Illinois. Meantime, in Hyde Park, <laughs> Governor nominee J.B. Pritzker led a host of Democrats on the march. People are friendly everywhere, you know, Republican territory, Democratic territory. It uh, feels like Illinois is really coming together. And with the political divide so sharp, the fourth can provide a brief break from all the hysteria. Today is really about celebrating who we are as a people, um, Illinois and Americans. This is a time to come together and find common ground, and we'll do it. So whether you like them or you hate them, both politicians and parades are a July 4th tradition. In Arlington Heights, Derek Blakely, CBS 2 News. Governor Rauner also appeared in Downers Grove at a parade, while J.B. Pritzker marched in other parades in Riverside and Evanston with another schedule tonight in Rockford.